Hey, boy. How are you doing? Okay, so, I had to call a little bit of an audible on this one. So, my partner has actually been willing to watch a lot more movies with me. Now, she's not a horror person, but, bless her, she's been willing to watch a lot of these movies with me. Lost Boys, Critters, The Haunting, a few others that are upcoming still, actually. And, uh... Oh, Poltergeist. You watch Poltergeist, too. So, but, uh, it's starting to wear a little bit on her, so, while well, I'm still trying to get through as many movies as I can this month, sometimes, well, she needed a little bit of a break. But, I was able to find a compromise, and this one wasn't on my original docket, but it's never a bad time for young Frankenstein. Still fits the bill, kind of, for the month. I know it's not strictly a horror season, but it works as a Halloween movie. So, I'm counting it. I'm taking it. No one can tell me otherwise. So, one of Mel Brooks' best, really. It's what I come back to probably more than the other ones. I mean, I am a big fan of, uh, of Robin Hood and uh, Dracula didn't loving it. I know that one's not well received, but I have a soft spot for it. And producers, like Blazing Saddles is probably the other one I go back to. Blazing Saddles and, and Young Frankenstein. But, well, let's start over here. Uh, plot, it's pretty much just Frankenstein, just Mel Brooks style. It's essentially, it's uh, Gene Wilder plays uh, young Frederick Frankenstein, uh, whose grandfather was uh, the, the legendary victor, who where was the monster. So, well, even he inherits the castle, he goes following his grandfather's uh, journal and decides to replicate the experiments, despite before repeatedly protesting that he had no interest in it and that it, his grandfather was a kook. Well, he's met by the hunchback assistant Igor, played by, brilliantly by Marty Feldman, and uh, his new lab assistant, the beautiful Inga. Well, they get to the, the castle and, well, get set to work on creating a monster. And it goes pretty much through most of the Frankenstein beats, though it also throws, like, some, I think, one or two jokes based on Son of Frankenstein. I think the blind old man was uh, from Son of Frankenstein, if memory serves. I watched a lot of Frankenstein movies before. So... But it does it, but it does it in such a tongue-in-cheek send-up, and just... The movie's been memed and quoted to oblivion, and even with that, it still holds up. It's a very funny movie. I'm not going to just start repeating jokes left and right here, because they really are best served in here, though. The putting on the Ritz sequence is still... Gets a song in my head every time, but... Definitely a standout. So, the cast really is what sells this, and they do a, such an over-the-top, beautiful job. Oh, I don't know what else I really can even say about this one. Uh, one the kind of even... Mel Brooks definitely kind of went over the top on terms of detail, as they actually got the original Frankenstein lab setup that Universal used, so it's actually... It's the same lab equipment. Um, it's, we really like this instead of being sharp because, yeah, movies like this, a really good comedy, you have to see. You can't just describe. Like a horror, you can go over the basic plot line and still get something out of it later. But for one like this, you have to see it. And I do highly recommend it. It's For me, it's Nine MacGuffins. It is a very well done movie. You, you can't go wrong with of Mel Brooks in general, and this is definitely one of his strongest, so highly recommend it. Just end it there. Go. Go see it.